Hi, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Veronica and I'm a big lover of makeup. So if you want to see more reviews, looks and more fun videos, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, I'm so excited. We are going to dupe the new Pat McGrath palette in collaboration with Bridgeton and it's called Diamond of the First Water. I think the palette looks so, so pretty. I'm going to put a picture somewhere on the screen. So that's the reason I want to dupe it. I create this version for myself and I did this look. So if you're curious about that, please keep on watching. Hi guys, so today we are gonna dupe the new Pat McGrath palette. It's the first time that I'm doing this style and we are gonna choose the individual eyeshadows and put them in this palette. And I think it will be a lot of fun. Let me show you the palettes. So Natasha Denona uh, Coral Palette, the Viseart Dark Edit, the Little Cosmetics with the shades in here, Natasha Denona Metropolis, and for this big palette, what I did is uh, I bought this palette and I put all my Melchior shadows in here. And these little ones are the color pop. Uh, it's my pleasure palette. I just put them in here because I don't really reach for that palette. And I thought maybe if they are in here and I create other color story with them, I will use them more. So I will pop a photo in here with the palette and maybe the swatches as well. First shade is described as a pink champagne highlighter, so it's a shimmer. Put in here every color that seems uh, appropriate for this one. Okay, so we have these four colors. Let's swatch them and I'm gonna decide which one is uh, the most similar. This one is the Melchior Festive Gold shade. This one I think it's very, very gold, so it will not be what we need, but it's a beautiful shade. This shade is the Natasha Denona Coral in Kai and it's a gorgeous shade. This one I think it's a bit more pinky than the Pat McGrath one, but it's stunning. So I think maybe this one could work as well. Next one is from Metropolis. It doesn't have a strong pink in it. And the last shade is the Little Limbo. And this one is very shiny, as you can see. So actually out of these four, I think I will choose the little one because even though it's not that pink, it's shiny. So I think it will go great with this palette. The second shade is described as a pastel pink satin matte. So I will search for that and we are gonna swatch them. So for this one, very easy. <laughs> I only have one shade that I think is very uh, similar to that one. This is from Colourpop from the It's My Pleasure palette and it's a matte, but I think it will do the job. And the swatch, very pigmented. I think it will go perfect. The third shade is the most amazing one. It's described as a iridescent blue. And that one I think is the most unique one. So we are gonna see what we can uh, dupe it with. I do have in here a lot of random colors. I don't think either of these is close, but let's watch them and see. This one is from Colourpop. It's not blue in any way, shape or form, but maybe if you close an eye and then you close the other one, maybe it it has some blue. <laughs> yeah, so this one is not it. The next one and the one that I think I'm gonna choose is the Natasha Denona Coral shade Abalone. Yeah. And this one, it has some blue and it's very, very beautiful. It's a topper, but it's very shiny. So I think I'm gonna choose it, but let's swatch the other ones as well. Next one is visible or purple, but <laughs> I think it's so, so beautiful, so I want to swatch it at least. This is Magnetic from Melchior. This is one of my favorite shades. And then I have other shades that are very blue or at least blue-gray. This is from Juvia's Place from the Warrior 3 palette. This one is a gray with some blue in it, which I think if we combine this one with the one from uh, Natasha Denona, maybe we get something similar, but... We are not doing that. This one is Seal from Melchior. A very, very beautiful blue. 
And the last one is again from Juvia's Place Warrior 3. This is a blinding blue, very, very pigmented, but not what we want. So I'm gonna pick this one from Natasha Dinona. The next one is described as a velvety plum taupe matte. So let's search for that. So only these three. This is from Viseart. And it's a very yummy plum. The next one is from Colourpop. And this one I think it has a bit of red. And it's not that dark. And the last one is from Little. It's called Corazon. And this one I think it's just a brown. It doesn't have a lot of purple in it. So for that reason, I'm going to choose the first shade, the Viseart. Then we have the Pink Platinum Metallic, which again is a shimmery shade. This one is the color pop from It's My Pleasure. This one is from Viseart. It's a very smooth shimmer. And it's very blinding. It's stunning. The last one is called Calvet. And it's from Little. This one I think maybe is too warm, but it's stunning. I think I will choose the Viseart because it's more shiny and blinding, so maybe it will go better. And for the last color, this one is described as a Roseberry Satin Matte. So let's search for that as well. <laughs> Actually, I didn't expect that, but I think this one is the hardest color. I don't have something similar to that because what I have in the red zone, it's too orange like this one or it's a shimmer. So yeah, we only have these two. This one is from Natasha Dinona Coral. It's called Dakota. It's visible that it's too orange, but let's swatch it. And then as well, I have the Colourpop shade that's on the berry side. So I will use the Colourpop, but yeah, I don't have a color similar to that one. Not even close. <laughs> okay, so these are the swatches. I'm very excited. I think I duped the idea. <laughs> so yeah, let's move into the look. Okay, so I will list down below everything that I have on my face. I have a bit of powder under the eyes and I use the NYX Ultimate Base. To prime the lids and let's use the palette i'm gonna use all of the shades of course and we are starting with this from colourpop and a blending brush i'm using this one from morphe it's a bit better than the other one but it's already shading which is still not great Okay, and now I'm taking a smaller brush and the other shade, which is not that similar to the one in the palette, but I'm putting this one on the lower lash. And because this shade is very similar in tone with the shimmery one, I think I'm gonna put both of them on the lower lash and do like a monochromatic lower lash. Something like this at the moment. Let's take this deep plum and I will put that in the outer corner in here okay so something like this not my best look because this edge doesn't want to work with me but it's fine let's take a smaller brush like this one and I will take this shimmery pink and we are gonna spray the brush and apply this on the lower lash mainly in here in the inner part i'm putting now just a bit of the first shade that we used on the lid just to have a base for the shimmer and with the flat brush and this sunning shade i will put that on the lid but we are spraying it This blue, I feel like, could be very similar to the one in the palette. Let's use the last shade in the inner corner. 
and just a tiny bit under the brow. Okay, so I will zoom you out, remove the excess fallout, put some mascara on and be right back. Okay, so this is the final look. I really like it. I used the High Sky mascara and a bit of black pencil on the upper waterline and some brown from um, Too Faced on the bottom waterline. And this is the final look. I really like it. I think it's very similar maybe to the idea of the palette from Pat McGrath. And yeah, I really did enjoy duping it and creating my own. And yeah, so if you like the video and you want to see more from me, please subscribe and give it a like. And I will see you next time.